Hello everybody, this is Alicia Pratt, now your independent consultant for 31, and welcome to another Wash It Wednesday. Uh, we are cruising right along midway through May, kind of crazy. Do you think 2021 has like sped along? <laughs> 2022 forever. 2021 is like, I'm out of here. But it is, what day is it? May 12th? 12th, May 12th, and I am down to just three new spring products left to show you. So I have two smaller ones here today. We'll cover the bigger one next week, which is actually excellent timing because you're going to hear it here first. Tip, tip, hearing it here first, okay? Um, there is a summer seasonal guide launching on June 1st. Woo! Um, I don't believe it's any new products. I looked up the other day. I think it's just all new patterns. But that is more excitement, more things for me to share. Um, we also had a Summer Skies collection that launched on Monday, which is also going to be in the catalog. If you haven't checked it out, it's very patriotic, so it makes sense to launch it before June 1st, so folks have a chance to get things for Memorial Day. So that is all a little off course, but I said we have three products left. Two of them we're covering today. Um, that's all I got. Let's go. All right, the first one is the new Half Moon Pouch. This thing is bigger than I was expecting it to be. To be, I was thinking, oh, this is a nice alternative to the mini zipper pouch if you're a fan, or maybe the regular zipper pouch is too big for what you want. This is a nice middle ground. Um, the one I got is in an actual textured fabric, so this is not printed. It actually is that particular texture. Um, it is called Canyon Weave. So this is the same color as the distressed pebble distressed stone pebble so it it kind of looks pink in the pictures it's it's not it's like a pink toned neutral i don't even know how to explain that is it or is it a neutral but it's not a true pink it's not a true like brown it is a pink toned i would say like a pink toned top that's really hard to say <laughs> pink toned top i don't really have a good true color this all looks a little dark on that might be the closest right there, the zipper, if you kind of look at it. It's hard to get a good color on it, but it is not pink, which it might look like. Um, the fabric is actually a little interesting. So look at this one. You can see it has like this long and it's uh, spinning around. This side actually looks a little different. So that's kind of interesting. So it must be just a different piece of the fabric. Nothing related to the product whatsoever, um, but I think it is just available in a couple of these textured ones, which is why I'm bringing that up. So of course it has carry advisory. So one thing I noticed right at the bat, like look at the zipper. This zipper goes from here, like on the bottom, all the way to on the bottom and the side. So this sucker opens up. Let's take a look. Look at that. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me a lot of the expanding travel pouch. That's not its real name. <laughs> but it's an expand travel expanding pouch expanding travel maybe it is expanding travel pouch where that thing opens up and it has like this little flap and it almost floats well, totally flat this thing it re really really reminds me of that look at how open that is um i th actually think this is kind of fun i don't think i'd use it in my purse though i think it's too big i think it's too big for my purse personally but this would make a really nice pouch if you're like carry a tote normally as like a business bag or if you're maybe more of a um i know it's just <laughs> more of a cindy tote kind of person where you have a little more space this thing is big it's gonna hold a lot of stuff but the thing is stuff's gonna fall out because of the how far the zipper is so i think that's why i'm less inclined to carry it in my purse because i carry a lot of stuff where i would end up like tipping it and i would lose something but i like the idea of this um as a travel bag which would be really really pretty and i know this pattern um, is available in uh, one of the weekender bags. So I could see how this would be like a really nice makeup bag, perhaps. It is that the nylon lining, so it's not the PVC. And it's very, very pretty. So this is the Half Moon Pouch. This Half Moon um, shapes have been really popular for the last year. Trendy. So that is the Half Moon Pouch. So it's not so exciting. It's a, it's a pouch. I don't really have anything to compare it to in front of me. I really don't. I don't even have a catalog in front of me. Um, this is a Pamper Chef chip clip, one of the big ones. Hopefully anybody knows how big that sucker is. Give you a little comparison. It's like the same height. It's kind of nuts. Anyway. Um, what else we got here? My tablet, which is currently plugged in. <laughs> this, this is a 7-inch 
um, Android tablet. It's not really good. This kind of took it out. So it is, obviously, it's not going to fit in here, but I just want to give you some comparison sizes. That's really all I have. There's nothing in there. I didn't really plan this very well. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, half moon pouch. Um, Canyon weave fabric. Remember, it is not pink. Okay. And there's enough on that one. So you can check that out. Um, I didn't put the exact product link in the description this time. Um, just the general one because I have two products. This one I'm actually a little more excited about. It's kind of an odd thing for me to personally be excited about. But I saw it and I was like, ooh, I have to have that. And it's funny because I haven't actually started using it yet. But this is the New Spring Always On Keychain. So this little guy replaced the Hang It Up key fob. So if you remember, the, it was fabric and it had a lobster claw on one side. It had a key ring. Um, we don't have those anymore. This little guy replaced it. Now it is smaller. Like, look, this is this is tiny <laughs> compared to my hand. It is small. But it does have a key ring on one side. It does have the lobster claw on the other. Which is, that's why I like this. Because um, most of the time when I'm throwing my keys in my purse, I lose them. Right? They go down. Um, they disappear and I have to dig to find things. And I never used the hanging up key fob because it felt too big to me. I'm not really like a lanyard type person either. I don't use wristlets on my, my wallets. Ooh, I bet you could put this on a wallet. Sorry. Side note. <laughs> Sorry. I have no attention span today. But anyway, back to my I like this one. But that's why I like this because I thought those key fobs were too big. So this is smaller. So you can put your keys on here. You can hook this on. Like a lot of bags have um, either a little D-ring or a little spot. Or you can hook it like on a pocket. So it's not going to disappear into your bag. And it's still pretty. Um, you know, this would be something that I don't think I would have as much problem with my husband carrying. Uh, he's notorious for taking my keychains off my keys. <laughs> because they're too big or they're too girly. They don't fit in his pocket. So I think something like this size, I wouldn't have to fight with him as much. He's, he's good. He took my photo key fob, my photo keychain off because it's, it's too big. Whatever. Men. Right? What are we going to do? But um, it is adorable. It only comes in a handful, maybe not even a handful, one or two. I know it's, it comes in black and stone for sure, um, but it is new for spring. So maybe they'll bring it out with some new ones. But black. Who doesn't Who doesn't love black? And this is a black distressed pebble, but honestly, I it's so tiny that I can't even see the distressing with the small amount of pebble that is on there. But this is what I have for my two items for today. Um, next week, the one thing I have left is an insider exclusive. So that's actually what I've been carrying as my bag. We'll talk about that on Point Bundle next week. Um, and then we'll have to come up with some more ideas on what we're going to talk about after that because I've gone through all my spring products then. So that kept us going for two months anyway. <laughs> okay, this is all that I have for you on today's Watch It Wednesday. Thank you for joining. Hello to everyone in the chat. And we will talk again next week. Have a good one.